Hi, welcome to my painting. I am using ultramarine and turpentine uh, for drawing uh, and placing the objects which I'm going to paint. Uh, over here, I'm just blocking out the area which is going to have uh, grapes. And now I'm adding the uh, darks parts which I want to keep in the dark uh, and now with uh, Naples yellow I'm going to uh, just uh, block out or mark out areas which I want to be in the light um, since I'm working on uh, extreme lights and extreme darks which is called chiaroscuro I will uh, mix uh, yellow ochre with ultramarine and I'm going to just work on this pair like so and bring out the form of this fruit. Similarly, I'll do this uh, in the, on the pair in the background. Uh, by muting the same color with a little bit of white and just showing the form. Like so. This is actually an underpainting and it's going to guide me throughout. Now, uh, I'm working on the orange uh, with vermilion. Uh, just using paint, no lines, just paint. And uh, on the lighter areas, I'm going to add some Naples yellow with vermilion and show the form of the orange. Now here, I've added some uh, Prussian blue just for the darkest areas and now I'm just showing the form not the form but the area which is going to have hold my grapes I'm just uh, Tapping uh, give, uh, with my brush to show the grapes, I'm not outlining them or coloring them. Now I have added some white, titanium white for the grapes at the back. And as I move forward, I'm just going to use my brush in a circular motion and just randomly show some grapes uh, which are going to be in the front and at the back but uh, generally I'm not going to outline them or work on each and every grape. I'm also going to just uh, add a couple of grapes which have, which have uh, fallen from the bunch. Now I'm adding Prussian blue to the areas which I really want to keep in the in the dark, in the dark, this is going to be my darkest color in the entire painting. And now behind this pair, I'm adding more Prussian blue to set it deep into the this straw basket. Uh, now I'm drawing the basket, uh, just showing a bit of texture here and there. Just uh, like so. This is the form of my basket which I will bring out with paint and uh, color, the receding colors and projecting colors. 
Here I am extending the back side of the basket. Now I'm using carmine and ultramarine uh, to add docks on the orange. Now I've added the color of the orange and yellow and ochre on the basket so that uh, it echoes the color of the orange echoes elsewhere as well, otherwise it will take too much attention. Now here I'm putting the highlights and as well as bringing out the texture of the straw basket. I have added some warm shadow here, a warm uh, darker tone of uh, ochre and, ye and, ye and yellow, sorry, which I will, uh, on which I will work with, uh, with ultramarine. Now I'm darkening the background with ultramarine, white, and a bit of ochre. Here I'm using a warmer dark uh, by adding magenta in uh, in ultramarine and uh, yellow, uh, yellow ochre. This is the shadow of the pear at the back. Using carmine, I'm just dabbing on in circular motions the grapes. Um, because ultramarine is a projecting color, so the grapes are going to uh, uh, look, uh, will come out stronger now. I'm not going to draw each and every grape. I'll just show each and every object in a form without an outline. And just with the use of uh, projecting and receding colors according to their tones, their strength, the warmth and coolness of all colors. Here I'm adding, like I said before, I'm adding ultramarine in the shadow, uh, which is being cast by the basket, and also because that part of the painting is going to be dark, dark. Here again I'm adding some dark shade. Also I have I'm added some dark here. As you can see I'm working simultaneously in the foreground, background, as well as on the still life, just to bring that uniformity, the rhythm, which is so much needed in a painting. Now I'm just adding the same uh, bit of ochre and Naples yellow, and uh, just to make this light a bit dull, but at the same time um, it stands out. Near the still life I have lightened, and over here I'm adding some, a bit of magenta, in the background. Just tapping a bit on the grape. This is the stem of the pear. It's going to be a more saturated color as compared to the one which, uh, as compared to the shadow which it is casting on the wall behind. And uh, I think this is a bit strong, so I softened it up. Drawing the uh, bunch stem of the grapes uh, in saturated uh, magenta and uh, sorry, ultramarine blue. I'm adding 
almost the same color, magenta and ultra green blue, on the darker sides or on the darker uh, areas of the uh, orange. Adding highlights on the back here. And now, with my spatula, um, I'm going to add the small uh, little uh, stems or, uh, which connect the uh, which connect the grapes with the main bunch or with the main uh, with the main stem, uh, the larger one. I'm stippling over with lighter color on the orange. Here I'm drawing the uh, the stem of the pear. Now I'm adding a warm color on the straw basket and here with a palette knife I'm trying to show uh, those straws sticking out of the basket here as well the color I'm using is Prussian blue because this is the darkest blue which I have used in this painting so far like so and also kind of uh, creating a a nice uh, effect of light and dark. Here I'm adding light colors which are ochres like so along with Prussian blue. I'm adding some touches of light here and here. Now I have added with my palette knife, I've added a highlight on this spear and on the front of the spear. Now, this highlight I used, I used Naples yellow for the spear at the back, and same yellow I'm using to highlight those uh, tiny straws sticking out of the basket. This with a spatula. These touches with the spatula are creating a sense of drama. Now I'm using more red, carmine red, on the lighter parts of the grapes, and at the back I have diluted or sort of mixed red with a bit of white to soften up the ones at the back. Here, I'm adding the shine, which is so typical of the shiny red grapes, the skin of the grapes. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, my attempt at chiaroscuro. Uh, and uh, here again, I'm adding some highlights, but the these highlights are muted because they are slightly at the back and the front ones are more prominent. Again, I'm looking for places where I can make some changes. Here I've added some Prussian blue as well. And the, these, uh, the dark uh, things sticking out of the basket are giving a lot of new movement to the painting and these uh, straws which are sticking out are catching a lot of light. This is my palette, my messy palette and uh, as you can see all, all the colors which I have used in this painting are on the palette. Have a nice time, take care of yourself, bye bye.